From its futuristic design, its top-notch transport system and its boutique yogurt vendors, I'm hearing a lot of great things about Two Points First Eco City. I'll be sure to give it a visit the second I can figure out how to book a ticket via their online travel portal. Where do I find this portal? How do I get in? Lucky for them, there's nothing I love more than things I barely understand.
Now that's the kind of song I like to listen to when I'm out jogging every morning. I like to run down lower bullocks as fast as I can until I fall to the ground. Good thing there's a few hospitals nearby.
quality of treatment may depend upon patient behaviour. Bungle was forced to close one of its experimental treatment centers this morning after its cybernetic doctors experienced a malfunction and started performing autopsies on all patients. Bungle says the error is being corrected and the centers will reopen soon.
I don't know what to do, Dave. I'm so sad all the time, and my cooking is terrible. Sound familiar? What can he do, Dave? Why don't you try the Orb Foundation? The Orb Foundation? The Orb Foundation. I used to have problems, but now I just have fun instead. <laughs> the Orb is the perfect shape and the perfect solution. Sponsored placement from the Orb Foundation. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio. 8-Bit Patience on the way.
heart racer. This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. You'll have to excuse me if I sound a little less effervescent than usual today. It was a bit of a restless night in the Hawthorne household, and I'm afraid I didn't get much sleep. My spaniel, Federico, woke me up in a fit of barking, and when I went to fetch him a bowl of baked beans, that always calms him right down, I noticed a bit of a commotion outside. Seven police cars, two ambulances, and the remains of what I believe one calls a street gang fight. Not a pretty sight, let me tell you. Still, all those blue and red lights certainly did give the street a festive look, and I'm happy to say by this morning, most of the teeth had been hosed away. Now, let's listen to some jolly wake-me-up music. Another earthquake warning for the Sweaty Palms area. Or as the hotels like to tell the tourists, it's time to look forward to another bouncy ground fun time. Enjoy your stay.
A bit of a scandal this morning after it emerged that Jumbo Medical Solutions has been secretly extracting blood samples from people using Jumbo vending machines. The company says it's merely monitoring the health of all its customers, which is awfully nice of them, I must say.
End of year approaching. Don't put your health in the hands of a quack. Come to Bungle Meditech, where advanced techniques and experimental treatments could make you live forever. Bungle Meditech. Other hospitals offer leeches. Ours will leave you speechless. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio. Alison Cattle has sent us her favorite inspirational phrase. Love, she says, is the ladle that stirs the soup of life. I use a ladle to serve the soup into big bowls, not stir it. But I guess it works both ways.
unplug any vital hospital equipment. Radio. Welcome, welcome. Today I will be hearkening back to the golden age of radio by playing a recorded drama written and performed many moons ago by yours truly in the formative days of my career. This was a time when people had an attention span and radio shows were far, far longer. So we have abridged the narrative for your content craved minds. Thank you. 
Inspector Blanbury had received some three weeks prior an unexpected invitation to dine at the home of a Mr. and Mrs. P. W. Fields. Not one to look a gift dinner in the face, Blanbury had accepted, and now, yes, right this moment, makes his way towards Fields Manor. Inspector Blanbury in Fields of Murder. Patients now arriving for the ward.
sorry for the litter that you dropped on our floor. I've always said electricity was a bad thing. To all those who scoffed at me, spell thought for the poor souls in a hospital currently under siege from an electrical storm. Blanbury arrived at the Grand Manor House in a storm as turbulent as his nerves. There had been no communication between he and his old friend Percy Fields since a rotten dispute over a dropped catch at third slip. Such was the weather that Blanbury didn't spot that the door was open until it was upon him. Hello? Percy? It's Blanbury. Why? There seems to be no one here. A thud sounded from upstairs.
hospital may well be haunted. If you're looking for a product with which to clean your hair, we at Justa would like to ask that you consider our shampoo. Yeah, all right. Justa shampoo. It'll clean your hair, but it won't change your life. Serving Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio. Blanbury stood at the entrance to the master bedroom, its windows open and flapping wildly in the wind. The contents of a bookcase lay strewn across the floor. If only I could make some blasted sense of all this, there must be some kind of connection. Why, yes, a connection. That would do.
Blanbury sat alone in the drawing room, a thousand thoughts swirling in his mind as the gale rose to a fever pitch around the manor's many, many spires. Think, Blanbury, think. I'm here in this home. I'm here to see my old friend, Percy. This is his home. Wow, oh, something's just not right. The storm illuminated the mantle, revealing a picture frame. Blanbury's curiosity carried him towards it. Earthquake warning, that isn't your medication. We're sorry for the litter that you dropped on our floor. A chill fell down his spine. The walls, the carpet and the curtains, the fabrics of his old friend's home were, in fact, nothing of the sort. This wasn't the home of Mr. and Mrs. P. W. Fields. The breath caught in his chest as he reached into his jacket pocket for the invitation. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm definitely not at that address. How embarrassing.
If you'd like to see some frogs, there's no better place than Pebbly Frog Sanctuary. A few different types of frog are only a plane or boat journey away. Let's go! So hop on over for a riveting day at Pebbly Frog Sanctuary. Serving Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio.
I hope that you have enjoyed today's entertainment. It does make me rather dewy-eyed to hear it back after all this time. And it comes as a pertinent reminder to us all. Do check the locations and date on your invitations so as to avoid misunderstandings and embarrassment. Cheerio!
automated snack machines need restocking manually. This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Welcome back to the Ricky Hawthorne Show, Two Point Radio's top rated program. We have some wonderful music coming up, so let's not waste any more time. Looking out at the pointy mountains the other day, I was inspired to compose a poem. I didn't have a piece of paper to write it down on, but there was something about snow and hot chocolate and breaking your leg in five places. If only I could remember what rhymed with multiple fractures.
It's time for the news around Two Point County. A devastating avalanche in the Underlook area has swept away all the entries in this year's snowman building competition. We'll bring you updates on the efforts to dig them out. But for now, here's a bit more music for you. Mortimer, Mortimer, you've just won another Grand Point final. How do you do it? Well, I couldn't do it without my cheesy gubbins. Cheesy gubbins. Cheesy gubbins, the answer to every question. More Two Point, more often. This is Two Point Radio.
some sad news today, all the way from our neighbouring county, where we hear the ratings for my brother's radio show are down for the first time in a decade. So let's all keep our fingers crossed for Simon Hawthorne and hope he doesn't lose his job. Living on the streets, hugging a flea-ridden blanket, wondering where it all went wrong. Why he couldn't be as successful as his brother Ricky? Chin up, say. that Jumbo is preparing to expand into the music business. They'll be holding auditions with hopeful singers all week, and so many people have been queuing up to pay the registration fee, Jumbo has already declared the venture highly profitable. Those clever so-and-sos.
It's another beautiful day in Two Point County, so why not go out there and enjoy it? Visit Crockle Bay Zoo, take a boat trip out of Hogsport, or just sit in any of our wonderful parks. Whatever you do, don't forget to take your radio so I can enjoy it all with you, if we have time. Thank you. 
New to the Cheesy Gubbins family. That's too cheesy flavor. Who needs new ideas when you can have more cheese? More cheese? Cheesy Gubbins presents That's Too Cheesy. Ch -ch -ch Dare you? 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio. Doctor needed in DNA. 
Today's words of inspiration come from Anthony Naval, who says, don't be afraid of disappointment or your next dentist appointment. I'll keep that in mind next time I'm due for a checkup. and Wolf on Two Point Radio. You're listening to the voice of Harrison Wolf, Two Point Radio's third highest rated DJ. Stick around if you want to hear me talk some more. No. 
most required in chromotherapy. yesterday, I discovered I was a mongoose in one of my previous lives. Then I went back even further and found out I was also a pterodactyl. Weird thing was, I still had a radio show to do every day. Patients for injection room arriving. Jumbo's new range of smart glasses and contact lenses can now send targeted advertising straight into your retina. Not so good if you're driving, but what's a few car accidents when you can find out all about those products you didn't know you needed?
Jumbo McNally, the greatest business leader in the world, will be presenting Jumbo's latest slate of minor upgrades at this week's Jumbo Expo. Buy your tickets now and don't forget to bring your credit cards. This is Two Point Radio. forgotten how much I hated that song. It's like when you stub your toe and it hurts, but a week later you think, it didn't hurt that much. Then you stub your toe again, and you remember the pain. All the pain. Let's hope this next song doesn't sound like a stubbed toe.
to repair drum mixer. Today, Jasmine Odyssey was mobbed on the street by fans, but managed to lose them by hiding in a nearby hospital. The press release is calling it a charitable visit. Gotta love those PR people. attempt at finding a hobby bird watching man those things are fast also people get nervous when you carry binoculars wherever you go especially when you're staying in their back gardens
Bad news, listeners. I'm being evicted at the end of the week. Can't really understand why. I pay my rent on time, don't play loud music, and all my neighbors are welcome to play with any of my venomous snakes. I got 48 of them. things happen every day. You could lose a toe, ah! your house, ah! even your life. Ah! That's why you need insurance like Swindles Insurance. <sighs> Swindles, because peace of mind is worth a piece of your soul. This is Two Point Radio. Thank you. 